just found a pigeon in the airport. I'm really excited to head to Malawi, excited to see and be at some of the places that we have heard lots about at the meeting house. Um, visit some BIC churches, meet some World Vision kids, and it's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to going to Malawi, to seeing uh, friends that we've now seen a couple of times, people like Henry and Damio and the World Vision reps that um, have come to Canada and then we have been to see them now. I'm looking forward to seeing my sponsored children again for a second time showing them a video of my kids on my phone and just being able to say hi in that way. Every team always comes here. It's Mug and Bean, it's the best coffee shop in the Johannesburg airport and I'm super excited because it's such a traditional thing to do. As I reflect on our time in South Africa, it's high on the list of places I want to come back to and visit. Why is that? Ah, because it was beautiful and I felt like there was so much to see and do. We've made it to Malawi, here okay, we are. Use your camera. Huh? I don't think I want you to use your camera. Oh. Okay, hello. We are at the Evangelical Bible College of Malawi, which is a Brethren in Christ supported training school for BIC pastors across the country. So we got picked up at the airport this afternoon by Earl and Lois, who have been hosting us. And Malawi is beautiful. Uh, we've been touring the college here and getting just a glimpse of what life is like. You can hear children playing in the background. They're playing soccer and I kind of want to go join them. Yeah. <laughs> there are no students here because they just graduated, but there's about 100 students here per year at any given time. And we've been looking in the classrooms and looking around Ellen Lois's house and hearing that the library here is the largest library at any Bible college in Malawi. Yeah. So that's a great resource that the students here can have. Yeah, I think he said there was about 13,000 books, which yeah, is really that's big for Malawi. Yeah. So we're looking forward to a really yummy dinner with our hosts and just an evening of kind of hanging out and getting to know them better. It kind of just hit me. Yesterday morning, we were in Zimbabwe. Yesterday afternoon, we are in South Africa. And this afternoon, we're in Malawi. My brain is crazily trying to process all of the different changes of all of those different um, countries and cultures. The things that we're seeing, it's so amazing, but it's also sometimes hard to put into words um, because we're just absorbing it all and we can't quite make sense of everything that we're seeing and organize it in our heads yet. This is Lois, my wife, and I am Earl. Uh, I teach at uh, Evangelical Bible College of Malawi. Also, I work with the church, the Malawi BIC Church, and we enjoy serving the Lord in this area. And they have just made us a delicious meal. Oh. We are so grateful and looking forward to hanging out with them this week. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. you are welcome. What's happening? What's it's happening? A tell us what happened, Mark. Yeah, you have to tell us. My ears just unplugged for the first time in over a week. I can hear. It's I can amazing. Hear. And I feel like I'm at 90% right now. I feel like a new man. You should, you 90 should write a book. Is a new man? I should, maybe I'll write a book. <laughs> Can you be it's 100% true. Mark, please, to be a new man? <laughs> <laughs> so we've had a very great day. It's a dark road. It's now nighttime. And we are all looking forward to church tomorrow when this one is preaching in Malawi. It's going to be great. Good night, everyone. Good night.